In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best GeForce Now settings based on your internet speed. And we're going to be looking at all the GeForce Now plans, how GeForce Now works, and the different settings in the app versions of GeForce Now. The free version, the priority version, and the ultimate version. For the free version, you get a basic rig, standard access to gaming servers, one hour sessions, and it has ads. The thing I don't really like about the free session is that since you only get one hour, it's really annoying having to queue up again. So this is probably the version I would not recommend if you want to play on GeForce Now competitively or even casually. GeForce Now also has a priority version, which is $10 a month. It has RTX on, six hour gaming sessions, up to 1080p 60 FPS and no ads. But if you want to play competitively, the priority version would not be the one I would recommend. I would recommend it more for casual players, but if you want to play competitively, I would say the ultimate version is probably the best option because the ultimate version has an RTX 4080, RTX on, eight hour session lengths, up to 4K and up to 240 FPS, as well as no ads. So I would say the ultimate version would be the best in terms of competitive play. It would also have the least amount of delay since you get exclusive access to RTX 4080 servers. And there would probably be fewer people on these servers, so you would get the least amount of latency, the least amount of lag, and you would probably play the best. Everyone would probably play best on the ultimate version of GeForce Now. If you want to play competitively on GeForce Now and reduce your delay to play as best as possible, I would recommend you guys get an Ethernet cable as well as a 240Hz monitor. Since the ultimate version provides a 240FPS option, if you can get a 240Hz monitor, I would really recommend that. But if you can only afford a 144Hz monitor, I would also recommend that as well, since there's also a 120FPS option on the ultimate version. So that would also help reduce your delay. An Ethernet cable, in general, reduces packet loss, reduces ping, and increases download speed, so this is why I would recommend an Ethernet cable for GeForce Now. I would also make sure to check that your internet is 5 GHz and not 2.4 GHz, because 2.4 GHz is really bad for GeForce Now. It's not exactly the strongest or newest Wi-Fi signal you can get, so if you do not have a 5 GHz Wi-Fi signal, I would recommend you get one as soon as possible. Playing on 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi is really bad for GeForce Now, as it does not have the same strength and will cause latency and a lot of stuttering in your mouse movement, as well as increased delay. Something I would also recommend is closing up the startup apps that usually start when you open up your PC. Having these apps open in the background can take some Wi-Fi signal or cause you to get input lag, so I would also close them in the task manager. They should not start up every time you boot up your computer. I'd also recommend you go into your system and security and your control panel, go to your power options and set it to high performance. This option will make your PC run as best as possible and help reduce input lag on GeForce Now because it prioritizes your computer's energy usage to make your PC run well. Now I'm in GeForce Now and I'm in the settings. Here is where you connect all your accounts, clipboard and network stat. I would keep these both off, they don't really do anything important. Then you have the streaming quality which I will delve into in a second. And here you have resolution upscaling. Please keep this at standard because enhanced and AI enhanced don't really do much. Keep your in-game graphic settings on because you obviously want to save your settings. Rich presence. Keep this off. Now, to make it plain and simple, I'm going to show you this screenshot of the best settings based on your internet speed. Just watch out for the settings and copy them so your game can improve, and you can get less latency and better performance based on your internet speed. For in-game Fortnite settings, I'm now showing you my in-game settings for GeForce Now. I set performance mode to 40 FPS since I have the ultimate version, and I just put the highest FPS I possibly can. Looking for that extra lower delay? I would recommend using a skin with fewer details, like Lara Croft, as it helps lower delay. That's basically it for this entire video!